What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elias Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're talking about things you need to do in order to get him to stay when he leaves, but wants to come back, right? So he leaves, he's coming back, he's like, oh no, I made a mistake, or uh, you know, whatever the fucking reason is, he comes back, what are you going to do to get him to stay? Okay, so before we jump into it, subscribe, please just click this button below, and also I want to say something real fast. Um, I'm going to start doing phone sessions with you guys now, right? So you can just click a link in the, some, well, probably from this description video and on. You can click the link and get a phone session with me. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because while I can give a lot of value in an email session, I know for a fact I can give you 100 times more in a phone session. You can literally sit there and blast me with questions about your situation. But let's say you don't even have a situation. Let's just say you want to know men. What better way than getting a mentor, me, getting a phone session with me, and literally just being on the phone with me for a complete hour, blasting me with questions, just hitting me one after another, bam, 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 and needing to know every single thing you need to know about men, okay? There's nothing better at that. We can get into the nooks and crannies and explanations, things you don't understand, so on and so forth. So there's nothing better, I think, than a phone session than if you want to learn about men, attract men to your fullest, get the guys to stay, stop pulling away, so on and so forth. Again, we can get into nooks and crannies, and you can just blast me with questions, just on the gun, right? When we have a phone session, a complete hour. You can get a lot done in an hour, okay? So, with that being said, what are you going to do when the guy wants to come back? What the hell are you going to do when the guy comes back and he says, whatever fucking excuse he makes, right? The first thing, okay? We're just going to jump right in. The first thing you have to know is this guy's an orbiter, and you have to draw the line, right? If he goes out, he's he's coming back for two reasons. He's only coming back for two reasons, ladies, baby. He's only coming back for two reasons. He is either getting turned down by other women out there, right? He, he went out on the prowl, and women are like, fuck no, dude, get the hell out of here. Go back to where you came from. He's just getting turned down, right? He's not being the provider and satisfier that he thought he would be. His, lo his ego is lowering. That's number one. Number two, he realizes, you know what, you're actually an awesome chick. So, you know, I made a mistake, here I come back. Now, if that's the case, the only thing you can do really is draw the line cause, and, and demand more. Because if he's coming back because he thought you were high value and he realized he made a mistake, well, guess what? In that hierarchy, you're at top, babe. You're at the top. He's like, holy crap, this girl's actually better than I thought. He had a realization, an epiphany. He's like, oh my God, this girl is actually awesome. You're at top. Your value is through the roof. So why not draw the line and, and become a little more, you know, like whatever, you know, kind of um, with him and demand a little more. You got him. And when he's coming back, you might as well draw that line and be that way anyway and demand something because he's an orbiter. He has a low ego. He's coming back uh, to use you for insurance purposes and things like that. And uh, he, you know, he just... You, he, you shouldn't. He shouldn't have to treat, or he shouldn't treat you that way, and you shouldn't let him treat you that way. So you need to draw that line immediately. The second thing is the reason he left in the first place is because he didn't value you, or he had no incentive to date you. Again, men don't date women, or don't get in a relationship with a woman because he doesn't value her, or there's other women. So if he's coming back, obviously those the other women are out. So the only problem you have now is that he's not. What or you're not what he's wanting or looking for, or you lack value. You have red flags, tendencies that he doesn't like, neediness, clinginess, things like that. And fix this. So you need to find a way to get around that. So not only do you draw the line, you're like, hey, dude, I'm actually fucking shit. You ain't gonna pull that stuff again. You need to raise your value. You need to show. You need to show less flags and more. You know, improve your confidence. Uh, you know, just be really confident, even if you aren't. Just show it, right? Um, have the body language. Stop being so needy and clingy. Stop texting him all the time. Stop show. Just stop showing him all this validation. Stop trying to seek his approval and his validation. No need for it. All it does is screw you up. Okay. So with that being said, we have the third thing and final thing is. Don't show. I kind of just said this, but don't show interest too fast. When you do, it when he leaves, you know he. They always say that you know the one who likes less always wins. Now when he leaves, 
and it dep depends on when he's coming on why he's coming back like if he's leaving and he comes back because other women are uh turning him down and he can't really get anyone else so he comes back to you don't show him that interest. You know, you have power there. But when you start seeking validation and showing an interest, he's going to gain it again. And at the same time, let's just say he's coming back because he's not doing really well. Or, you know, he's just like checking in on you, right? Let's say he's coming in to check in on you again because other women aren't showing him that attention. Girl, you need to stay up here. You need to, you don't don't fall back down to him and say, oh, let's work this out now. Let's try this again. No, screw that. He left you. When someone leaves you, it means they lost faith in you. They don't believe in you. They they don't have confidence in you. They don't trust you. That you know that you're the one that you that you could give them this that X Y Z A B C the services whatever. But you know when a guy will come back at the same time if a guy comes back because he realizes holy shit you're actually really cool and I made a mistake he maybe he was impulsive or something, you know when he's coming back and he's wanting you. You know, at the same time, you need to be up here. Because if you're trying to work it out again, you're giving him power. You need to show... I mean, take him back, right? I'm Take him back. I'm not saying, okay, I accept you back. Or don't do this again. Don't ever say that. Don't say, don't do this again. He'll do it again. He's not a dog, right? But, but don't just... What I'm saying is don't show him the interest so fast or so strongly. Make him work for it a little. I'm not saying play hard to get. But be elusive. Like, don't make him... Just don't make him feel like he came back and nothing happened. Like, it's all okay. It's not forgive and forget, right? It's not forgive and forget. You have to let him come back. Let him show the interest. Let him make the moves, right? When he comes back, let him reach out to you. And then you're like, okay, sure. We can do that. Okay, sure. Cool, cool. You want to go hang out? We'll hang out. But he has to come to you for a, for a while, for the first three or four times. He has to come to you. When he makes a date, he needs to come to your house and pick you up and... and uh, take you on a date. He needs to pay. You know, for the first several weeks, I'll say first week or two weeks, I'll say week if he does it daily. He needs to, he needs to text you. Don't you reach out to him. Do not do it. You have the power. When a guy comes back, you have the power, okay? So, with that being said, please 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 draw a line. Raise your value and don't accept him back like it nothing happened. That's the worst thing you can do. Those are the three things you need to do, ladies, when he comes back, right? He's an orb. You have to remember. You have to keep in mind. The first thing to keep in mind is he's an orbiter, nothing else. He's an orbiter. He likes to go around, come back to you, check in on you for insurance purposes. Again, for his own ego to boost it. He needs something to back up on in case all this out here doesn't work. He's going to go back out and do it again. So when he comes back, you're like, er, you need to cut that track, right? You say, no, we're, that's not how we're playing, homie. And then go about doing your thing, okay? So with that being said, I love you. Take care. Peace.